Ralph Tells a Story by Abby Hanlon. Ralph, 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 Ralph. A lot of blank pages. Ralph tells a story. Looks a little upset, doesn't he? My teacher always said, Stories are everywhere. Then Grandpa gave me a cup of coffee and said, don't tell your mother. I have no story. Look, everybody's writing stories. Our favorite characters, Fog and Toad, Olivia, George, I guess he's Ralph. Oh yeah, his paper says Ralph. So I look for things to do. I went to the water fountain. I roamed the halls. Can I go to the bathroom again? I tried everything. Can I go help the lunch ladies? What? Stories happen to those who tell them. Then one day, after getting sent back to my desk, I begged Daisy for help. I can't write a story because nothing happens to me. Are you kidding, she said? I've written a ton of stories about you. Interesting. She began pulling her stories out of her desk. Look at this one, she said. Remember the time you let me brush your hair? And this one, remember the time you knocked down all the crayons? Oh, and remember the time you painted your nails with a black marker? Name, Daisy, yikes, it was so quiet during writing, then crash. Then the teacher said, oh no, it's permanent marker. I thought, I'll never be a great writer like Daisy. Then Daisy stapled all her stories together. Click, click. Wow, she said. This book is already 13 pages. Click, click. Can I use the stapler, I asked. I was really good at stapling. But you have nothing to staple, said Daisy. You have to find the story first. Just look around. So I looked for stories out the window in the aquarium, in my desk. Why do you have socks in your desk? Hmm. And when my teacher wasn't looking, I looked for stories on the floor. That's my favorite part. Look at my next book, The Sock Monster by Daisy. But still, no stories. Lying under my desk reminded me of lying in the grass at the park. I closed my eyes and imagined I was at the park. Just like the time a little inchworm crawled to my knee. The sun was shining right into my eyes. Squinting, I picked up the wiggly inchworm and looked at it close up. And that's when my teacher found me. What's your story about, she asked. I opened my eyes. Uh, uh, I saw an inchworm. Wonderful, she said. I can't wait to read what you write. But there was no inchworm story. I sat down and tried to write about the inchworm, but right away I got stuck. Do you know any inchworm story? I asked Daisy. She just rolled her eyes and kept writing. And then my teacher said, writers, come to the rug. Time to share. Ralph, why don't you go first, said the teacher. I pretended that I lost my paper. It didn't work. He's sitting on it. 
I walked to the front of the rug. It took a long time. I held my paper against my chest so no one could see it. I was at the park, I said. An inchworm crawled on my knee. It was so quiet. Everybody's listening. My heart went thump, 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 thump. And then I looked at Daisy. Wow, really? Did it feel squishy, Ralphie? Did you take it home? And then everybody started asking me questions. Did your mom let you keep it? Did you touch it? Was it a baby? Was it a girl? Did it tickle? Did you name it? Wait a minute, I thought something did happen with the inchworm. Well, I picked up the inchworm and decided to name him Nicky. I built Nick a house, but he just inched away. So I followed him, which is why I don't notice, I didn't notice that someone was following me. Then all of a sudden, this wobbly, crazy baby grabbed Nick and put him in his... Diaper. No! I tried to be calm. Come on, baby, I said really nicely. Give Ralphie the inchworm. It didn't work. Was this the end of Nick? But then I noticed Nick was escaping. He crawled right up the baby's stomach. Quickly, I rescued Nick and ran. And we spent the rest of the afternoon doing nothing together. Everybody clapped and cheered. Show the picture, someone said. Wonderful, hooray, yay, Ralph. Daisy gave him a high five. I wasn't embarrassed anymore, so I did. Ralph, me, I was at the park. This was last year. This year, I write stories all the time. I keep finding stories everywhere. Hmm, this book might be too thick to staple. A hundred funny stories by Ralph. So here are some writing tips from Ralph. Number one, get comfortable. Number two, it's okay to ask for help. What was the funny thing I did again? You can always write about what you had for breakfast. Yum. Pizza in the morning by Ralph. Number four, eat lots of chocolate. Books by Ralph. When I ate too much spaghetti. The shampoo mystery. The marker that never ran out. The crazy supermarket cart. When my mom bought me the wrong size underwear. The lunch lady's friend. When my backpack was really heavy. The case of the missing ice cube. The worst staple jam ever. When my baby brother ate hot sauce. The scariest hamster. When milk came out of my nose. Daisy's embarrassing birthday. When the librarian yelled really loud at me, the smelly band-aid. When the principal tripped, my bathroom emergency. The inchworm returns. The end. I hope Ralph helps you write your story. I'll see you tomorrow.